Hello Foxes, today we'll be doing a patch 9.4 rundown, including a review of the Kale rework. We're very excited to share our insight with you and help you to dominate your opponents on 9.4. Okay, let's start this out. Alright, first off we got Karthus, Q damage decreased. I'm, <laughs> I'm looking at this and uh, I really don't think it changes anything about the champ. If anything, it's... Uh, more of a nerf to mid than jungle, right? Since you're, you're just picking jungle to farm to six and press R. I'm surprised they did this instead of uh, making it so like, I thought they were just gonna nerf his mana. Yeah. So you actually have to build mana items. Oh instead yeah, yeah. Of just building jungle item. That'd be. Uh, but uh, I mean, this is okay. All right, then they nerf Lucian. I mean, this probably won't really matter. I mean, people yeah. will probably just like not max W or like do the three points W thing. Yeah, maybe just three points at most. Yeah, so it's only 20 damage difference. I think the mana is what matters the most, but yeah, the champ will still be super. Obnoxious. I mean, mana flow is not changed, so I don't think it changes much. Rek'Sai. I hate this champ. Yeah, yeah, this champ so is so obnoxious. This is the ultimate uh, side lane ganking champion. I don't even think this will matter that much, like the the buffs. The most obnoxious part is I know there'll be like a bunch of Rek'Sai players yeah. playing it in solo queue for like three weeks, thinking it's good and it's just gonna be the worst experience of my life. It's just like, the only real buff is the ult, right? You can't dodge it as easily. Yeah. So, um, all right, Silas changes. I think they basically just want people to max Q, right? I mean, it just seems like they wanna nerf tank Silas for sure, because they're getting, they're toning down the base heal. But I don't uh, really yeah. think this matters at all. Like, maybe people will max Q more, uh, but, the champ is still gonna be really strong. Yeah, I mean, yeah, realistically it won't affect anything, but I do think they really wanna push the Q max. Yeah. More so than W max. It's probably healthier for in terms of like gameplay pattern. Urgot's like, it's so funny that they nerfed his mana cost, but from like, was it 50 or 60? Or 50, it was 50 before. And then they nerfed it all the way yeah, to 80. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> it's actually brutal. Uh, I think uh, Urgot's significantly hit on this patch. Seems bad. Yeah, it's kind of weird. I mean, it seems like you'll have to build, like you have to go like first item glacial or else yeah, you'll yeah, just be oom all the time, right? Yeah. Um, Maybe you get some dark seals. <laughs> I don't know. I don't know. The changes seem weird to me. I don't know why they nerf it like this. I mean, people's issue with Urgot was that you could build basically like one AD item and a full tank and yeah. do like a ton of damage yeah. with your legs and stuff. I, I, I didn't think like champion design was broken in any way. They just needed to like maybe nerf the damage yeah, to like tank I, ratio. I agree with that, yeah. Like make them either less tanky with more damage or like make them have to build AD, like actual Tekken AD item. Yeah. Like, like, uh, what do you player. think if, if they were to like remove his E flash? Do you think that'd be a good decision or a bad one? I don't know. Because I feel like that's what makes him like. That also helps. It removes a lot of counterplay, right? Because he can just set up a gank really easily. I think just make his. Like, I don't know how exactly it works now, but. Just make it so you have to either build two AD items to do to do like the amount of damage you do now. Yeah. So you have to be a little bit squishier, or just uh, like I mean, make it so that he's like less tanky with like uh, all those items. Like, yeah. So you get hurt for building uh, like only like I mean I don't know. Anyways. <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> Chance just either one thing or the other, either less tanky or less damage. I don't care which one, but he seems pretty tough. Yasuo is this a lot? This seems like a shit ton, dude. Woo. I I mean to me. It seems like a lot, right? It's, it's not very much. You don't think so? To be honest. Isn't uh, 3 AD like? 3 AD is kind of impactful, but the Q change is like pretty negligible, I'd say, because by the time that like the crit damage modifier is coming into play, mm -hmm. you should already be so strong that like you're oh, gonna- you don't even notice it? I mean, I don't think it's that noticeable. Maybe, maybe in certain situations, but I think you also will still be strong. The 3 AD, eh, Kind of matters actually, but I uh, think uh, we'll see. We'll see. Yeah. I, I think it's pretty big. It seems somewhat big, but yeah. I mean, it's kind of hard to tell. Ooh. Uh, I don't even know what to think about this. It's either gonna be like giga busted or useless <laughs> as hell. Yeah. There's no in between. I can't tell which it's gonna be. All I know is that there's another rune for Cassio. Precision tree kind of sucks. Yeah. Everything on there is kind of whatever. That's true. But. It just depends, like, like imagine being a mage and taking this. Right? Yeah, yeah, it seems. It really kind of feels bad, uh, but I mean, maybe it can be okay. 
but I stand by the fact that it'll either be, it'll either be super busted or just useless. Yeah, I agree with that. Um, but I think it'll end up just being like niche on like one or two champions. Like there'll probably be like one or two. It's always the right thing, where like one or two champions are ended up being busted as hell because yeah. of like a keystone or an item, and then they'll just obliterate the champion. <laughs> yeah. I am pretty sure like anyone who took Conqueror the short trades is just gonna take PTA now. And it might be slightly better for like really longer trades. I don't know. I think like yeah. I guess it's also they nerfed also with it too. Yeah. I, I don't it know. Actually does. It'll just depend how good it is. Yeah, I really don't know. It's so hard to tell. Yeah, it'll take some testing, but if it's bad, then like I feel Wait, all the auto attack on... champions are like kind of rough. Yeah. Does it stack on creeps still? Yeah, yeah. Oh. It's like the same um, it doesn't. Re uh, it, it has the same kind of like playstyle. It's yeah. just different effect. Yeah, we'll see. I'm not sure. It's impossible to tell. All right, we got no, some we're simple gonna, changes. Are we gonna do like a lightning round? Yeah, yeah. you, you <laughs> want it? All right, let's go. Lightning round. Azir gets some free attack speed. He's still trash. Nars, Nars. the tankier, also still trash. Okay, Hecarim is buffed for some reason. That yeah. champ is, that is tearing up my solo queue game, so I'm gonna have to keep that banned. Okay, Rengar's empowered Q level one was okay. doing the equivalent of level That's... four, which makes a lot of sense because yeah. I'm like, getting one shot by it. Uh, Sivir apparently is doing more damage than she should. Okay. Varus W not working as it should. Riot's really dropping the ball. Yeah, the bugs. actually. <laughs> Eddie Carry is ruined. Kaiso, you shouldn't build Storm Razor unless you're inting. Okay. Trandomir, don't build Spear of Soja unless <laughs> okay. you're also inting. Okay. Um, Clarity on Nunu new new heal. Uh, Trundle is still gonna be terrible. Trundle's still a, a bot. Or, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> oh, okay. You can no longer touch the first wave of minions to. Oh. To like freeze. That's interesting. The hundred thieves patch. Yeah, the hundred thieves. Hundred thieves is now ruined. And then random earth changes. So you want to just move on to Cal Morgana? Have you watched it yet? Yeah, I haven't watched it. Morgana's the same. Yeah, Morgana didn't get any major changes. Just visual. Okay. That looks like Beat Saber. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it does. Yeah, so I, I read what her abilities do in text, but I haven't actually seen them. Okay, this is her Q, but it's AoE now. Yeah, that's the exact same. Oh, but it also heals her. Interesting. Hey, holy moly. So now, what's really weird is you no longer have ranged attacks until level 11, I think, is how it works. Really? Or me, yeah. This is her ulti? Oh, wow. Her ult looks pretty oh, it's sick. it's like Quinn ulti. Yeah, yeah, her ult looks pretty sick. Yeah, so you have full range attacks at level 11, but before that, you, you only have one active range attack. It's really weird. And you're cute at range, obviously. And your auto's like cleave forward? Yeah. And then at level 16, at level 16, the like buff to your passive form makes it so your autos are permanently AoE. You know how I know this champ's gonna be super undertuned? Yeah. It's because they had to play versus Orn to get any good clips. <laughs> <laughs> no, I was, uh, we were talking about it yesterday, uh, and we, came to the consensus that she's going to be terrible. It Look at looks that damage. absolutely awful. Look at that damage. <laughs> yeah, 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 it looks like she just does no damage, right? Yeah, damage seems a little bad. Because I just feel like uh, they they neutered her early game. So unless her numbers are really broken to the point where she can just farm and lane, I think she, she'll be pretty bad. I, I, I can't see her winning any matchups with like the way her kit is designed. Because she's just a pure scaling champ. Yeah, kind of hard to say, but yeah, it looks pretty. What is that? So she has four farms, right? Yeah. What are the other? Is it just all ranking up until you can range auto people? I'm. I'm. Just, if it, I'm not sure what the first. Do you get more range per level or per like form? I don't think so. Level six, I think you get like really bonus damage. That. That would have been cool. Maybe. <laughs> and level eleven, you get range attacks. Level sixteen, you get AOE range attacks. Oh. Okay, That's, that seems kind of cool. Yeah. Eh, but good but, job, right? I'm just wondering, like, is she just gonna be like a war like a new Cassidin, an auto attack Cassidin, where it's like you're not a champ until level 11, because it kind of seems like that. But we'll see. Thanks for watching, fellow foxes, and uh, you know I hope you guys enjoyed our patch notes rundown and can use some of the advice for your solo queue games. Please don't first time Kale in my ranked games. <laughs> so see you on the rift.